Hey there, everybody. Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays Go Medieval. So last time, well, unfortunately, last time we lost our first, and I believe here lies. There it goes, Melody. Okay, it does work. Well, that's nice. It's not nice that someone's dead, but it's nice to know the grave system works. We're working on our new temple. While also doing a little bit of work down here with whatever this is becoming. You know, I'm I'm still wondering if I can maybe make it go a little bit more. But at the same time, I also partially think that's a terrible idea. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway. I think the first thing we should do... Wait, I got a beam over here? I got a beam across there? Oh, no, that's for below. Yeah, yeah, people are suffering from cold. So they say. So they say. I don't know. Can I trust them? Probably. All right, we're gonna start getting this one torn down and getting a temple set up. It's gonna be set up similarly over here. Yeah, it's gonna be basically the same on both sides. Move this over here, like that. I know we need to not wall. We need to put flooring down right here. Don't worry, I got you. Okay. It'll be fine. As time goes on, we will just deconstruct and then reconstruct. Easy as can be easy. All right, let's go ahead and move this, move this over here before I forget. And then we can deconstruct everything around it. Get ready to get these torches moved. They're basically going to be on the other side, just the same way. Okay. Oh, and uh, I assume the roof is falling down <laughs> because of the way that I have decided to unceremoniously destroy everything. Uh, let's see. So this will just go from here to here. Easy peasy. Uh, and here to here. Easy squeezy. Make sure we have... Oh, we're going to have to tear up the wood floor first, aren't we? I think we do. So go ahead and deconstruct. Wait. Hold up. Deconstruct. Floors only. All this. Wait. Yeah, do it, do it on both sides. I want it to be all stone. It'll look better in the long run. And you know, I can just... I didn't think about this before, but I can just move this out one on each side. Yeah. And then I can deconstruct these. And replace them. It's actually going to look possibly better. There you go. Okay. Then give me the flooring. The quote-unquote correct flooring. Let's go ahead and get me a, another brazier on the other side as well. Kind of just the same on both sides, basically. Okay. And then roof-wise. Oh, right. I need to make a second floor. Forgot about that part. Gerard turned 28 today. It's pretty great. People be tired, yo. Well, I get it. I don't appreciate it, but I get it. There we go. And how did I miss a spot? On the orders there. Alright. And then get it all covered. And that'll effectively be phase one. There's more we're going to want to do. Mainly, I kind of want to make a bit of a third floor right here. Like, not a true third floor, but like something akin to it. So, like, I want to do this, and then I'm actually going to cut a place around the middle-ish for it. And I'm going to put some beams here. Because then what I could do is make a slightly larger roof up here. Out of limestone. Like that. See, I'm thinking if I do that, then I could do a half roof over here. Like this, to butt up against it. Or actually, maybe even all the way down to here. 
Oh, now that I think about it, yeah, I could make that roof go all the way down. And I... Um... Maybe should? I don't know. What if I did this? It's two spots here. And then... Like this, this, this. This will make it so that people can walk up here as much as they want. Or wherever they need to, or something like that. I... I swear I'm doing something interesting. Alright? <laughs> Hear me out. Now I can get the roof to go all the way across. So, cancel that piece. And I only need to cancel that piece, I believe, so I can make it like that. Okay, so that's going to go all the way around there. And then, in theory, I can make the partial roof go up like this. All the way over there. And you see, I got kind of like a... Like, sort of a, a steeple action going on. Sort of. Kind of. I don't know, we need more limestone at this point. We're also eight days in the winter, which is pretty great. I'll say. Is this... Is this room... This is... Wait, this is only a spare room? Excuse me? What am I lacking over here? This is supposed to be a... Oak Brethren Shrine. One shrine, two wall decorations. Am I missing a wall deck? Oh, I am totally missing a wall deck. Why hasn't this wall deck been built? I don't understand. Get that done, please. And also, this one's going to need two wall decks as well, so one on each side. Easy enough, right? Okay, so that's easy enough. That's why I called it so. Oh, and then we can put, the, put extra wall decks... Here and here. There we go. Okay, why did that get done so quickly, but the other one didn't? Parrish, can you do that one? No? Uh, maybe it's something that I originally set to be moved? And I accidentally destroyed the one that was going to be? I don't know. But if doing this, that might fix it. That may be enough. Anyway, we still got some snow stuck in here, but, you know, once the roofing's all done, that'll be good. There we go. That's a proper temple now. Cool. That'll just make the peeps, you know, happier. Which is important. Don't even start getting it twisted. Okay. More lights. Gotta get them on both sides, of course. There we go. You got the brazers at the end. How are we doing on limestone? Oh, we need to actually get more, don't we? Okay, maybe it's time for a break then. Although one of the temples is not done, which is unfortunate. How are we doing on... Okay, those just require torches. That's fine. They're going to get done. No biggie. Oh, yeah, look at that place. It's not done yet. But it's looking all right, right? I think so. So, this one's made out of wood. They're both made out of wood. Okay. I don't think it matters what they're made out of, necessarily. At least for for warship purposes, I don't think they care. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. I will probably be wrong again in the future. But it's alright. I know it's been asked whether I should... Or if I could... You know, put up roofing over here. And I think maybe it is about time to consider that. You know, if I build this here and this here, then maybe another one around the middle. Oh, you can't reach that, huh? You reach next to it? Nope. You reach next to that. Nope. You reach next to that. You can reach there. <laughs> okay. You know, we could partially cover this up at least. There we go. Hey, whoa. Hey, I can actually see down here now. I need to put in mining orders. Skills me for the me in it. Uh, mine all this out. Right there. I think that's a fair start. Okay. Uh, that is not equidistant. Not at all. So... 
I guess I'm gonna put another one somewhere over here. Like right there. I think that'll work. If I did that, I could put wicker roofing over, or wicker flooring over the top here, I think. So, I mean, if can't be reached is the biggest problem, we're okay. And honestly, maybe the spots that can't be reached don't need roofing. Well, no, I think we need roofing over where the stairs are. <laughs> okay, limestone. Coming up fast. Oh, yeah, you can see on the back how it's going to look. Oh, yeah, I'm going to like this. I'm going to like this a bit. I'm going to need to get some wicker over here. Actually, let's just go ahead and build it around like this anyway. That way we'll be able to walk around there. So I can put up some decorations on both sides. Because you know I'm gonna. I gotta. Okay, I guess I could... Build a wall or a stairs up to theirs. Just to go up their temporaries. Because I kind of want this done. Oh, yeah. It meshes okay. <laughs> Maybe not super well, but okay. We'll see, we'll see. But this. So far, I'm happy with this. <laughs> There's a little little walkway down the center. That's kind of interesting. Alright, so here's what I want to do for decorations. I want an Oak Brethren on one side, which will be this side. And it'll be the opposite on the other, of course. Church of Restitution on the other. And then our shield in the middle. Or no, maybe, maybe our banner. I think our banner might fit a bit, a bit better. Big old banner. Mm-hmm. That's tasty. And then I can't do that on the other side, though, because, well, I mean, I could put a block wall part here. Technically, I can. And then I just need to get wicker around it, which is totally possible. Like so. And then we can get that. To oh, actually, this will let us build over here, too. OK, that works. Yo, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get me more limestone. Let's actually dig down over here, shall we? I'll give you a big dig down right over this way. When we get the chance, of course. But yeah, this, this was a complete and total coincidence, and it's a fantastic one. A phenomenal one, if you will. I feel like I should should have had some windows at the second floor. Can I still do that, or is it too late? I want limestone brick windows. Like here and here on both sides. I think we can still do it. And then in the back as well. Here and here. And then here and here. We'll see how that works. I think that works. Mining seal's going up. Alright, how are we doing? Anyone get lost down there yet? Not yet? Good. Okay, we're probably going to need this. So I'm just going to go ahead and build it right now. Uh, yeah. Give me a stair right here. That'll help us dig all the way down. We got a lot of orders in right now, so... If things aren't happening immediately, I'm not even mad. There you go, now we can get over here. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Totally wasn't an accident. Completely planned out. Worked like a charm. Your boy is a genius. Sybil, you're not a genius. What are you doing, Sybil? Sybil, what are you doing? You're gonna get you're gonna get your stuck. You're gonna get your stuck, Sybil. Sybil, I get out of there. At least wait until we have the stair done. Nobody's gonna do the stair, huh? Angus, don't get yourself stuck. But still, don't get yourself stuck either. Really? You just move the wood there? You're not even gonna... Well, whatever. I think any of you can do construction. So, worst case scenario, you build the stair and you're good. Bale's got it this time, though. No, he doesn't. 
<laughs> he had 46% of it. Florencia will finish it. There we go. All right. Now you can get in and out. Sweet. Hey, whatever works, right? What is this? Clay? All right. So then I guess we get the pit going here. Yeah, we'll just do that for now. Of course there's another cold snap. Dude, we're almost at the end of winter and they throw another cold snap at us. It's too much. It's too much with too little recourse. Genuinely annoying. What am I supposed to do? Put them all in their rooms and lock them in until the cold snap's over? Like, I could lock the door to the cast... To, not the cast, the main wall, and then they wouldn't go out, but that doesn't really do anything for us. You know? And they need to be able to get into these rooms to do business. Maybe if I removed everything in here into our tower, they could all just crowd in there till the cold snap is over. I don't know if I'd call that living. You know? Look at all this. Look at all of this value sitting right here. All this beautiful iron value. It's quite glorious, I gotta say. Okay. Can I just... Like... Well, no, I'd have to cancel those. Can I forbid these without... Nope, canceling them? No, you can't. You can't forbid orders. Ah, okay. Gotcha. See, there's a lot of, there's a lot of quality of life stuff that going medieval still needs, and this is a perfect example. Like the ability to cancel... Not cancel. Not cancel. But forbid. Yeah, so the ability to, like, forbid these orders. Forbid this. Don't do this. Oh, I can't tell you not to do that. Yeah. Because I don't want you to suffer from cold, you see. Weird concept, I know. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and actually just put in the orders to dig all this down, too. Because I could see someone getting themselves stuck on this lair. We'll probably want to replace this whole layer eventually. Maybe not. Maybe you want to have a place where, you know, it ends up being pitched battle right here. You just knock them off and they fall to their death. That'd be fun, yeah? Can't do that if you don't build out the space for it, you know? You know what I mean? Alright, all of this needs to be dug out. See, Carl, I think he's already done it. He may not have. He might be able to jump up on the stairs. But he may have gotten himself stuck already. I genuinely do not know. He, he's about to get himself more stuck. Carl, can you get out? You cannot get out. Carl has gotten himself stuck. Of course he has. <sighs> okay. Well, you can dig the spot that you're on. We got people digging under you. Now Vasil has gotten herself stuck. This is the problem with three dimensions. Okay. Okay. Couple more spaces to dig up. And of course, they can't dig the one. Oh, I don't know what happened to Carl, but he teleported and he's fine now. Sally, you working on this one? Okay. This is just dirt, right? Yeah, so it goes away quickly. Don't worry, Vasily. You're going to be fine. You suffering from cold? Uh, no, you're like the only one not suffering from cold. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't you love it? Who? Hengus is already on it. Okay, fine. As long as somebody's on it, it's fine. For a second there, I thought you put him next to the bed. I was looking at the wrong bed. Hey, Church of the Restitution Chapel's done. Sweet. It means you got roof all over it. Beautiful. What's the temperature in there? How is the temperature in here 0 0.8? negative It's not even that warm over here. Okay, we need more heating in here, obviously. It's a big place, so I kind of get it. There you go. Two more of those. That should do. I hope. Like, jeez. Every room needs like four million brazers. Yeah, no, this is... This is fine and good. Yeah, no. Perfectly cool that a bunch of people are just unconscious. Thank you for the autosave. Autosave takes a long time. Um... Yeah, it's still cold snap, too. 
Okay, so who's unconscious but out? Nobody. Everyone who's unconscious is... Well, now Lee. Okay, uh, Vasilla, go get Lee. Carry him. I, I choose you because you're more resistant to it than anyone else. You are sleeping. That's not moving them into the... Ay -ay -ay. Game. Game, please. Are you stuck? No, you can't be... Wait, can you be stuck? No, you're not stuck. This is technically... Wait, can you walk here? I can't tell if you can walk here or not. This may be hollow roof, it might not be. I guess I'm gonna wait till Lee wakes up and I'll find out then. Assuming Lee wakes up. He's not becoming less... Wait. He's becoming more conscious, so he's... He's waking up. Get up, Lee. Alright, he is... Incapable of moving. Okay. That's kind of what I thought. It's an easy enough fix. All I need to do is put in flooring right here. And we're done. So if someone can do that so that uh, Lee can get out, that'd be great. If someone could do that today so that he could get out, that'd be even better. You're gonna work on other crap, aren't you? Uh, where's Parrish? Hey. I'm fighting the U- What? Why is this not scrolling? Okay. I mean, it doesn't have that far to scroll, but still. Fighting the UI a bit here today. Okay, Parrish. I need you to work on this flooring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go! He's done! He's out! We're good. He's not happy, but duh. Slept outside, slept on the ground. But you're gonna be alive. You're gonna be fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a little little holes here, but I mean, I think that's fine. I like this. I cannot wait to do this on the other side, too. So, sh not shield, not shield. Uh, banner. Banner in the middle. Cold snaps over. Restitution on this side. And Oak Brethren on this side. I like that. It's a little bit of an extra touch. And the A, the the windows are in, too. Nice. Actually, I could build a window in the middle over here if I wanted. Do I want... Maybe? I don't know. But, I mean, no, I can't. I don't have a wall in the middle, so I can't, technically. I have this little walkway, which I'm not sure I'm, what I'm doing with. This is almost all done. It's quite sweet. Yeah, our temple is nearly complete. And now it is... Okay, now it's plenty warm in here. You know, it's weird. The, these two don't put out any extra heat than the clay brick one, but... Clay brick one just seems to work better, apparently. Whatever. You do you, I guess. We're going to get the roof done next, I think. Which it almost is. Oh, no, we can't reach this, can we? Can we? I don't know if we can. Who's idle and why? Oh, Sybil's idle for no reason. Okay. This isn't reachable, is it? It is not. Okay, it's... Wait, getting resources? No, it's not. It's fine. Oh, wait, no, it's super fine. Because all we need to do is get this go going around there to it. I'm acting like this is going to be like a big old thing to get fixed. Nah, it's super easy. You just do that. Practically done. Okay. Get that done on this side. This side's... It's ready to go, basically. The hard part, in theory, is making sure we don't get anyone stuck inside when we get the roofing side up over here. But as long as we can... Make sure that stupidness doesn't happen. We'll be fine. And it'll be great. Yeah, I like what we're, uh, I like what we're pulling off over here. I think it's neat. 
It's uh, it's not as tall as our tower, but you could argue it looks better. Yeah, you got wabbits over there. We're doing plenty good on food and, and other materials, so I don't even have to worry about those. I mean, is it as good as the guardhouse? I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. But I like what we're pulling off here. It's a dual church. A dual temple. We're going to put some... We're going to put some... Chairs in there. Maybe even a table? I don't know. I don't know. I think we need a table in there. It's spring. Spring has sprung. Ooh, now we can make uh, aqua vitae. Powerful medicinal alcohol. I mean, this would go into like a medicine room. Which, now that I think about it, I was going to set one up in here. So you know what? We're going to set one up in here, and this is going to be the start of it. Uh, not really sure where I want it. <laughs> I guess right. I guess right here. There you go. Go back to the bottom. Grab our apothecary bench. And can that go right next to it? Oh, it can. Sweet. Okay. Oh, those are not moved to the back. Whoops. I'll fix that. I'll fix that in time. And she got herself stuck inside. God damn it. Get out. Now build it. Build it from here. Okay. Good. Done. Almost. Literally one spot left to go and we're done. Well, I guess the decorations have to get done too. I mean, it's so close. We got a merchant caravan. Ooh, quality one, too. Uh, Circle of Avalon. They won't trade us their best. Just something to keep in mind. Okay. Really got to build the whole thing back over there? That's annoying. But yeah, look at that. I think it's looking pretty good. Yeah, let's... uh. <sighs> Fix our mistakes. Space already occupied. Genuinely eat my ass. Um, fine. We're putting it up against this wall now. Hope you're cool with that. Space already occupied. I'm about to flip. Come on. Hurry up and fix it. I'm gonna... What? Okay. And then we need to make areas to put medicine. Which is the easy part, kind of. Right. Settlers are idle? Carl has nothing to do. Alright, well, that's too bad, Carl. It's fine. What's up with this? We're out of wood? We're out of wood. I didn't even know that was possible. Alright, cut down some of the wood that's around the big area of wood we need to cut down. The roofing is entirely done. So it's literally just this one spot. Once that's done, it's, it's finished. Okay. I don't know who's doing this. Sybil? Yes. Ho ho! It is done. Behold, our mighty church. The entire building is another. I probably could have gone another floor up, but I feel like it, that might have been unnecessary. But still, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Let's go ahead and start deconstructing this. I probably have to do it one tile at a time now that I think about it. But that's fine. It's fine. All this stuff isn't done yet, which is a little weird. We're not, there's no way we're out of sticks. There's no bloody way. Yeah, we're not out of sticks. That's fine. Parish, let's go ahead and talk to Idrid. See how they're doing. Hey, Idrid. There you are. Okay, come on. How you doing? I'm going to give you gifts to start with. You have textbooks, well, so do we. I'm going to give you... 30 textbooks, 30 chronicles. 
and 30 Thesi, because I don't need them, and I know I could hold control to do this faster. But that's what we're going to start with, because that's, that's going to help with relations, I believe. And honestly, I don't think I need to buy anything from you. And you're not selling weapons, so I don't need anything else. We're good on all other materials. Plus 13 alignment with the Circle of Avalon. We're getting there. We're getting there, lads. So we have 39 of each. Who's exhausted? Florencia is exhausted. Well, go take a sleep. It's fine. You're fine. Yep. Here we go. Get that. Start getting that done. That is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Going Medieval. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Because it'll keep coming until it's over. And it's, I'm not going to lie, it's almost over. It's not Going Medieval's fault, though. I'm having a good time, let me assure you of that. Do we need more wood? We might need more wood. Thanks again for watching this episode of Going Medieval. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody owes.